my name is Kerry Lekebush. I like music and I'm from Sweden in Scandinavia. And I'd say pretty much music is my life. That's what I want to do the rest of my life. When I was around 12, 13 years old, I was just playing around with anything that I could get my hands on. Tape recorders, you know, old record players, whatever, you know. And uh, after a while, I just, uh, you know, after finishing school, I realized that, you know, this is something worth doing. So I saved up money and I tried to get some equipment and, you know, you get one drum machine, save up for some more, you buy some turntables. And suddenly I was making music and, and DJing at my own parties. I had, some, uh, I had a club of my own uh, at the end of the 80s. And suddenly, yeah, people started to book me and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do this. When you play as a DJ in a club, I'd say you, you know, people come there, they want to have fun and you got to, you know, give them some intensity. You, know, you, you can't make it too mellow or laid back. That's when you gotta play in a bar or in a lounge, you know. When people wanna dance and have a good time, so do you. You know, you have to do something that creates an atmosphere where they can just totally be on that platform. So you, you gotta play pretty intense. You know? It doesn't need to be fast or slow. You just need a, a certain swing to it, you know, to make people appreciate being on a party, you know. It's all about drinking beer and, and that stuff. It's, it's, it hasn't. There's, it's not good when it's too deep or when it's like there's a too big meaning in it or, or you, you know, people stand on stage and do shows that are three, four hours. Uh, if I want to go partying, I don't want to look at something like that. I don't want to look at, you know, a DJ because DJs are boring to look at, you know. You, you look at the party people and, you know, girls or boys and have a good time. That's, I mean, a lot of people forget that. For example, being on a party just playing, performing, and you see what people react to and what you react to. You say like, oh, that was fun. I have to try that in the studio. You, know, you do something with records and you realize, all right, you can do that in the studio and you can just make something new out of it. And that's a, one among many things, you know. You, you can go to movies. If you do music or you do paintings, I guess, you can just be inspired by anything. People you meet, you look at the paintings, uh, a movie, you hear other music. But I would say, personally, I'm not getting too much influence of other producers that are doing similar things uh, that I do, like other uh, electro and house and techno producers. If you travel, you'll realize that you go to Australia and you realize, whoa, it's bigger here than it it's ever gonna be in Sweden, you know, and <laughs> and you go to Japan, you can go anywhere. And people, they just, they, they're dying for the same thing. They want the same kind of, not the same music, but the same kind of feeling when they, when they wanna release that plug, when they just wanna, you know, don't work, don't be at the bank or in the 7-Eleven, work all day to, at the evening. They just wanna party with their friends and forget, you know, all the troubles in the world. So, wherever you go, it's going to be the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're Christian or, or any religion or Buddhist, it, it's just the same thing. I don't reflect too much, you know, on our own music and... and but, you know, you get to hear other people say that there is a Swedish kind of sound for electronic dance music and... I guess there has to be some kind of a line, a red line, so to speak where you can see like, oh, this, this guy is maybe from Sweden, you know. And maybe a lot of, of the younger kids doing <clears throat> electronic dance music nowadays, they, they, they're very influenced by, uh, for example, Adam Bayer. And, and so I guess, you know, it's kind of, somebody starts a tradition and the, the younger people coming afterwards, they just kind of embrace it and take it one step further and one step further. So I guess there is some kind of Swedish sound, but we're all using the same equipment, you know, Americans, uh, the Englishman, the Frenchman, Swedish. It's the same equipment pretty much, so you have to be very smart to, 
to create your own kind of style and sounds. You have to work a lot. I'd say if you want to do electronic music, you have to pretty much sleep with your equipment for a few years to be able to control them the way you want. And that's when you, when it starts getting interesting for, for any musician, you know, playing, playing a guitar or drums or bass line, you have to just practice, practice every day. It's like Kung Fu, you know. If you don't do your Kung Fu practice every day, you're not getting better. Thank you.